and my tubby's all filled with water and nice fluffy suds. And I've got my soap in Ontario wash, are already threading water, trying to pay bills, and the liberals go and float this rubber ducky right in their faces. Of course, fear. Rubber duckies are full of nasty germs. In 1992, uh, a container ship traveling from Hong Kong to Tacoma, Washington, loses 12 containers overboard. One of them sets loose thousands of tiny yellow plastic ducks on the currents of the North Pacific. The currents carry the ducks all over the world. A special friend of mine, my very favorite little pal. Staff and strep. They can send people to the hospital and cause eye, ear, or gastrointestinal infection. Rocky, you're the one. You make bath time lots of fun. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Rubber ducky, joy of joy. Hello and welcome myself back to my own channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this duck dress. So I started out with this dress that I got from the thrift store. It is a yellow dress with white stripes. It is a size zero. And I got it for only a few dollars. Let's get started. Here's the back side of it. Here's an up close image of the front side. And here's an up-close image of the back side. Here's our last before picture. The brand is the limited size zero. And here's the before with me. And of course, you need the ducks. Lots and lots of ducks. Just when you think you have enough ducks, just know that you don't. All of these ducks in this clip I used and it still was not enough. So I ended up having to buy a lot more to finish the back side of the dress. But so far, this is what I have to use and finish the front. So here's the dress. You need glue sticks. You need a bunch of glue sticks, a glue gun. You need your duck shoes. And let's get, and let's get started. So what we're going to do is we are going to get our foot in frame, our nasty, crusty, dusty feet. We are going to take the duck, glue the behind of the duck where the tail would be, and glue the tail onto the duck, on the, to the dress, my bad. So we're doing it this way so that the dress is uh, kind of sticking out, it's kind of 3D, and the ducks are facing forward. Um, yeah, I had them in a different position and I just didn't like it, so I prefer gluing the tails and then making sure they're sitting up straight and I'm just going to go in a row and just keep going. Keep gluing. Just keep gluing. Just keep gluing. Just keep gluing, gluing, gluing. So, my reasoning for making these dresses, um, there are various reasons, but I have a lot of curiosity and a lot of creativity. And what I do is basically smash those two things together. So I was kind of just like curious, like what if I just glue a bunch of ducks onto a dress and model in it? And I was like, well, what if I have meaning to it? So I remember that I was watching the news one day and the ducks were on the news for having um, mold in them and kids were unconsciously getting the mold in their mouths when they would squeeze the dirty water from the bath that was inside of the ducks into their mouths when they were playing with them and I remember seeing that and I remember thinking wow that's crazy and I was just sitting here one day and I was having ideas about dresses and I said to myself I want to make dresses that have meaning and they might be wacky and they might be crazy 
but they have meaning in some way. So I decided that since I was going to do this for fun, I might as well make it have meaning. And I just really enjoyed the thought of mashing my creativity and my curiosity together. And to me, this is uh, a fun project, but um, it did take a long time to do. Like this did not happen in one day. It took several days to make this just because of how long it takes. And I do have to a job and other responsibilities. So it's a lot to do, but I think uh, it's worth it in the end if you um if you want to give it a try <laughs> but yeah thank you um thank you for watching this far if you're still watching thank you and um that's my reasoning for uh why i do what i do so now you know my reasoning so i'm just going to speed up this clip so that i can stop blabbing and we can get on with the video So here I'm doing exactly what I did at the top, going in between the big ducks and putting the mini ducks in the middle to, you know, add more and not have any more spaces. So in this sped up clip, the ducks are getting really close to the end of the dress and I wanted to make sure that I saved the really tiny ducks and put them on the brim. So I saved a little space to put the ducks there. So quickly moving up to the top, um, I basically did all the same things to the top. I am going to add these tiny ducks, these really, really tiny ducks to the middle of the dress. Not all of them, I'm just going to space them out and make it look kind of like a, a little mini duck belt. But I'm going to put them there and also put them at the end of the dress where I saved the space earlier. So I'm going to also put them um, around the neckline, almost like a necklace that's um, already on there. And I'm making sure that I place them how I want them. Uh, the way I wanted these ducks were... Uh, in a way where it looked like the ducks were kissing each other so I just made sure that I took my time and placed each duck down one by one making sure that they were um, touching quackers <laughs> touching lips um, making sure they're even straight and um, yeah that's just what I did so I'm going over the line of the neck with the glue stick and I'm just making sure that I place it. Um, this is very like kind of dangerous. Like you have to be sure that you don't burn your hands off when you're sticking them on there. And you just have to be really careful. So if you are going to recreate this for some odd, very strange reason, just make sure that you take caution, be careful, and don't burn yourself. Because I burn myself a lot of the time while making this. So here's what I'm doing now. I am making a headband. I am gluing the duck that I have, a giant duck on there. I am gonna place it in the middle. I already made this once, but I placed the duck towards the side and I did not like how that looked because I thought I was just gonna have one duck on the side of my head. But then I decided I wanted more ducks and it made more sense to put the big guy in the middle and have his little friends hanging off his shoulder. So I decided I was gonna glue it straight onto the headband, um, glue two small ones to the sides, one small one onto the big duck, and a one mini one onto the small one that's on the big duck. So that's basically what I'm doing. 
to make it look like this intricate duck had been crowned thing. And I think it turned out pretty cool, after all. Okay, so this is how I made the earrings. What I have is a earring hold holder thing. I have those eye pin pin thingies. Sorry, I do not know the names of any of these anymore. I had these for so long and I have my mini ducks. So I am just going to take my mini ducks and um, so while taking a little break from the dress, what I'm gonna do is take my earring hooks and take this little eye pin, I believe that's what it's called if it's not correct me in the comments i forgot what it's called but i take it and i'm going to take my mini duck and basically drill a small little hole in it with a small drill and twist the eye pin into the head of the duck and then add the earring hook with the little metals part and just make sure that you tweeze them together basically squish the metal part so you squeeze the whole ring together and then you would have these little earrings so once you get the eye pin in you will attach the um, earring piece and then you will have an earring with a duck on it. That's how that happened. Okay. So now getting back to the dress, we are going to finish the upper half of it. We are going to place each duck intensively, strainingly, and we are going to make sure that they're sitting up right. And we're just going to fill up all the space on the front half of the dress. Um, and any little spaces that we can't get to, we will fill them with mini ducks. So here I noticed that I didn't like the way this head was placed so I cut it off and I just placed it on the side and it worked out. So y'all remember in the first clip when I said there wasn't enough ducks? Yeah, I needed a lot more ducks to finish the front and the back of the dress. So after some more gluing we're gonna make sure we fill up the sides with the new ducks we just bought and I noticed that they are a different color but I did buy it from the same buyer, so I'm not sure why that is. But screw it, keeps gluing. So, now that we've got most of the spaces filled, you can still see some spaces, but I am going to fill those in later. It was just a really long process and I was getting tired and I wanted to get like the most important parts done. So, what I'm gonna do right now is grab these mini ducks that I told you about earlier. I am going to put them at the brim of the dress. I just feel like I have to but um the way i place the dr the ducks um they are not even they look even <laughs> when I, they looked even when i was doing them but they don't look even on camera but i am going to place the mini ducks right at the brim and um i was thinking about cutting that duck because it's in the way but i was just so tired you guys like this took days to do days so i was just like you know what i'm gonna get this done and I'm gonna do the brim. So I'm trying to do it the same way I did above on the top half of the dress, making sure that they're kissing. And if there's a space, I'm just gonna still put it the way I would put it if they were touching. So I'm just gonna keep doing that around the brim until I completely do the bottom of it.
So before I forget, um, what I'm doing right here is what, putting the mini ducts on the waistline, just like um, a belt, like I said I was going to do earlier, but I'm going to do it spaced out. Um, and the reason why I did this is because that space is already yellow, and I honestly was just so tired, and I did not feel like going through the pain of adding a million mini 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 ducks into that section and i decided if i spaced it out it would look okay and it did look okay and even when i put it on like you can barely see that part and it just looks like the ducks are towering over that part so it looks completely full anyway but i decided i was going to do it like this um and i think i think it looks fine i think it looks good the way it is but I'm just spacing it out accordingly, making sure they're sticking up straight, and they're gonna go on like that. So this clip is the first clip when I first started on the headband. I decided to include this because um, it's just me showing you my creative process and I honestly didn't know what I was doing when I started it. Um, just like the dress, like I don't really know what I'm doing until I start it. So I decided I knew I wanted a headband but I didn't really know how I wanted it to be. And I, I took the giant duck and I put it on the side because I thought it would be cute to just have one duck on the side of my head but then I decided that I wanted to add more ducks on there and the more I added on there the more it made sense to me to put the ducks the giant duck in the middle of the headband so I just tore it off earlier and I glued it to the middle and it still looked fine but um basically you're seeing my curiosity and my creativity come together right before your eyes like honestly when i do these dresses and when i do all of these things together i don't really know what i'm gonna do i know what i want to do i just don't really know how it's gonna plan out until i start working on it and um it, it really the end result ends up always being really cool and i think i stress out more when i plan out how exactly <laughs> i want things to lay um as long as i have a general idea of what i want it to be then I think I'll be okay and I think that's awesome to do and I think it's really cool I'm excited, I'm nervous, but here I go. So, thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe, 
I'll see you on the next one.